Um, I, I promised two more questions and I'm supposed to give you one more question, but sorry, there was one I forgot because I think that um, one today you're celebrating a very important man in your life. Um, and I think he was also um, pivotal in encouraging you to mm -hmm. take this path, which has been, which has worked very well, not just for you, but for this country and for, for STEM. Um, what is the role of men, sort of what has been the role of men in your life and what do you think in your trajectory and in your, in your successes and what do you think men can do in this effort to get women more included in the digital world? Let me just give the example of the, I would say the, the four men that have actually supported me in my, in my career and, and, and my success to date. I mean, the first, as you say, was my, was my father. Who were celebrating ten years of his passing? That's why I'm going. I'm sort of getting in the car soon as we're done with this to travel to to Undo. My father raised us all as he told us that we could do anything we wanted to do and we could be anything we wanted to be. There was no gender bias. I have one brother, two brothers, and their um, four sisters, and there was absolutely no difference in the way that we were raised. So that was the first thing. So I entered the world of work thinking I can do anything, I can be anything, and nobody can stop me because my daddy said so. That's the first thing. The second <laughs> thing, the second thing was while I was in Accenture, where I spent sort of twenty five years of my career, I had two very strong supporters. I guess some of you may know them, Dr. Suleiman and uh, Dick Kramer of Blessed Memory. These are two men that was so supportive of my career. They were my mentors, they were my coaches, they were my cheerleaders, everything you can ever imagine. Dotto and Dick were those for me. The fourth mm. person I will talk about, the fourth man in my life is my husband, who again, um, very importantly, has supported me in my career. We were, you know, we had three children, raising children, having a career, being very busy, not being at home all the time, traveling a lot. My husband was absolutely fantastic. He was just a rock. He would encourage me uh, to travel because I know I would I would always try and spend the least nights away from home as possible. And when I did yes. that, I missed out on the networking because people would network before the event. They would network after the event. I'd fly in the morning, fly by. He says, don't be silly. Yes. Just go the day before, network, do everything you need to do and then come back. So he did that. He did that for me. And I guess also, you know, my husband has never been intimidated by what I do or who I am. Mm -hmm. You know, I think for me, it's more, it's very important that we, you can be minister, chairman, whatever it is, but you know, you're my wife. And that's how our relationship has always been. So that's, and I would say, as I give those examples, I think I've answered the question around, what do I think men should do? I think men yes. should go out of their way to support and mentor women that they find, that they, that women, the high performing women that they find wherever they are and go out to their way to consciously support them, encourage them, coach them, mentor them. For the men that have daughters, do exactly what my father did, raise them as as human beings, raise them like you raise your sons. Tell them they can be anything and do anything they want to be, regardless of what it is. Uh, for those of you that are husbands and your wives and careers, whatever their careers may be, support them from day one and don't be intimidated mm -hmm. by their by their success because their success is your success, as 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 I have found. So that's really what uh, I would say. This is really really powerful, and I like the way you've sort of broken it down into sort of your 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 roots in terms of your dad your professional mentors and then your personal you know um your spouse and i, I can share that um, i share that sentiment that your spouse may be one of the most important career decisions a woman makes you know not just in terms of supporting you and telling you you can do this but picking up you know that shared responsibility when you need to um unfortunately um, and I know no that your spouse supports you very well. <laughs> exactly, he does. Sorry about all the events. Supporting he's always you. at all those events. Because um, unfortunately, there's still this general societal belief that all of the caregiving, um, not just for the children, but for the aged parents, lies with the woman. So if you can have a forward-thinking spouse that understands that he has to pick up his part, can be very beneficial for everyone. And thank you for laying that out for us.